great obstacles to get this far, and I could not be any prouder of the race we have won, we have ran, and I gave it my all, and so did you. Record amounts were spent on yesterday's elections, probably the most ever on midterms in some high-profile races, though. It didn't pay off. Melissa Long has more on the story. Sure, Melissa. It didn't, despite the investment. Good morning, Deidre. Some of the biggest spenders did end up losing. Take, for example, the former HP CEO, Carly Fiorina, then spending upwards of $140 million. Meg Whitman, uh, former eBay CEO, not going to be living in the California governor's mansion in Sacramento. Uh, former wrestling executive Linda McMahon also won't be serving in the Senate representing constituents there despite dumping $50 million on her campaign. It did pay off, however, for Tea Party-backed conservative candidate Ron Johnson. He was able to unseat the incumbent, three-term incumbent, Russ Feingold. Senator-elect Johnson, I should point out, president of a plastics company at his hometown of Oshkosh in Wisconsin. Now, there's data from the National Institute for Money and State Politics showing money just doesn't always pay off personal funds, saying the last nine years only 11 percent of self-financed candidates actually won their race. And as you can see, the trend continuing with the data we were just showing you. Let's take a look at the larger picture for the year. Campaign spending increasing sharply. That's following a Supreme Court ruling earlier this year. It erased decades old limits on corporate and union contributions. So when all the dollars are counted up, the nonprofit consumer advocacy group is saying it's predicting spending is going to reach $4 billion. This is from Public Citizen. $2.6 billion spent on the 2006 midterms, to put it into perspective. $5.1 billion spent in 2008 for both the presidential and the congressional elections. Now, Check the map, you're going to see the most contentious races are attracting really, really big money. Number one, $33 million in counting as they you know, tally up all the numbers. Colorado's Senate race, then followed by Pennsylvania, Washington, and Illinois. And rounding out the top five, I don't think it's a surprise, that's at $17 million and counting on Election Day, the state of Nevada. Very contentious race there. The nonpartisan, nonprofit Sunlight Foundation was able to provide that data based on Federal Election Commission filings, Deirdre. Melissa, what's What's the financial outlook for 2012? Well, uh, Cato Institute, a representative there, is saying it is going to be the mother of all elections, that this is really just a setup, a precursor to the big money we'll be seeing in 2012. All right, Melissa, thanks very much.